Hey, so I'm uh, back at home. I just spent the last four weeks um, doing an away rotation in a nearby city, um, staying with my cousin, which is exciting. Um, so I'm going to cover CT surgery and burn surgery right now because that's what I've been doing the last two months. Um, I talked about CT surgery a fair amount when I did my uh, neurology post. Um, and, you know, it was pretty much the same through the whole thing. Um, the hours were really, really long. Um, but my team was really cool and I had a, I had a good time ultimately. Um, got two letters of recommendation out of the deal, so that's nice. My application's complete now. Um, I saw a heart transplant, which was phenomenal. And um, they did a couple of uh, ventricular assist device implants, which is, you know, kind of brand new technology, basically a little machine that they hook into the, usually the left ventricle, because that's, that's the one that goes out to the body. And um, if that is in pretty severe failure, i.e. like needs a transplant and this person's not very high on the list, then they'll put in the ventricular assist device and that'll, that's like a bridge to trans transplant is what they call it. Those are really long surgeries, though, um, and um, yeah, it was it was a lot of work. I never had time to sleep. I didn't have time to eat. I I lost eight pounds on that rotation. It was ridiculous, um, but it was a good experience, and um, you know, I got through it. And I know what it's like to be a second year resident now, so um, I know what's in store for me, especially if I decide to stay where I'm at right now. Um, I think I want to. I learned a lot. I will learn a lot if I stay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I have started getting interviews now, um, which is exciting. And, you know, it's, it's the kind of thing like, like, wow, this, this is all, this is all going to happen. So, um, yeah, cardiothoracic surgery, that's CT surgery. Um, it was really cool. And, um, I really like our faculty and, um, you know, I'm, I'm discovering more and more how much I like being in the ICU. So, um, you know, critical care is uh, becoming a, a pretty prominent feature of, of my, my direction at this point. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was really rough, though. I, I was getting up at 3.45 in the morning. I'd get to the hospital at, like, 4.45. I would round on six ICU patients, which is a, a lot to ask of. Uh, a med student. <laughs> um, we'd have our notes ready by six. Um, and then the surgeries every day, every day there was something, which was, um, it was good and it was bad. Like for cardiothoracic, you know, it's heart surgery. They have the fellows there and it's really delicate stuff. So they don't really let you do much, which, you know, it's okay. Um, you know, it's, it was, I, I did that before actually over at the public side of our hospital and, um, private side was, uh, was way more interesting, actually. They, they did tumors and they did long resections and, you know, it wasn't just, uh, wasn't just, uh, bypasses and, and valves. It was, it was a lot more involved in that. So it was cool. I saw an endovascular aortic, di aortic aneurysm repair. I saw an aortic dissection. Um, all kinds of, like that one was helicoptered and even I got to go up to the helicopter pad. It was cool. Um, yeah, all, all kinds of interesting stuff. Um, and then burn surgery. Um, I traveled to this other city more just because I wanted to check out their program in more detail because there actually is a, a burn center at my home institution. Um, it was awesome though. It was awesome. My, my attending was amazing. He was double boarded in both internal medicine and surgery. So he was super knowledgeable. He was a really, really good doctor too. So it was, you know, inspiring and he was so nice. Um, and then the other one, um, she was a little less approachable, but, um, you know, I, I had a lot of respect for her and, um, the, the procedures that they do in burn surgery are pretty straightforward. You know, it's all just skin grafts. So you take the graft and you staple it back onto the area that's damaged basically. I, mean, I got to take the graft a couple of times. I got to do a bunch of stapling. I did some suturing, and um, yeah, they they were really good about um, keeping us all involved, and so it was fun. And then also at that particular institution, that like we had an ER resident come through, so he wasn't really interested in going to the OR. We had a couple of Navy people, um, one who was considering surgery, so he was 
um, really into going. But the other one, she's going to go into radiology, so she's like, whatever, you can go. Um, and that was nice. Um, yeah, and I, I think they really liked me, so um, I have an interview there in the middle of January, and, um, you know, I'm... I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping I made a good impression that they'll want me. And yeah, I was, it was hard being out of my house for that long though. Um, you know, I, I live by myself. I'm used to, you know, having things my way when I come home. I was living with my cousin, which was the other reason I chose to do my away rotation at that particular place. And, um, it was really, really good living with her. Like I, I never get to see her. So to see her for that long a period of time was really cool. Um, especially cause my hours on burn surgery were amazing. Like I was out by no later than three most days, which is just unheard of on surgical services. So that was cool. And I got to take trauma call while I was out there, um, and see how their system works, which is way different than ours. So that, that also was a good experience. And then I went back to my hometown. My friend was having a birthday party. She had this like murder mystery thing. So um, we all dressed up in 20s style costumes and played a murder mystery game and it was fun. And then um, now I'm back. I've been back for like a week. I started internal medicine part two. Um, which, you know, I, I, if you watch that post, I was kind of enjoying it back in the day. Um, but that was when internal medicine was potentially still on the table. Now it's not. And, oh, God, it's so painful, especially because, you know, now I've been through surgery and I know how much I love it. And, um, you know, it, sur general surgery to me is just like medicine, but you actually get to fix stuff, which is really cool. Um, but you know, my, my team has been really nice to me so far and, um, you know, my, my Dean's letter is going out soon. So that means my grade doesn't matter so much. So, you know, I can kind of hang out and do the things I want. I got an interesting case today, um, an interesting complication as well. I, there was talk of maybe putting in a chest tube. So I was hoping I'd get to do that, but she ultimately didn't need it. Good for her. Um, so yeah, things, things are good. Um, I'm getting enough interviews. I'm going to start canceling some of them soon because, um, you know, it's, it's getting to be about that time and, um, yeah, everything's, everything's going really well. Um, yeah, I, I've, um, okay. So sorry, I, I meant to mention this earlier. I'm going to leave this post up for probably like two weeks and then I think I need to shut down this account for a little while. Um, you know, while interviews are going on and while um, while they're considering, you know, our, our rank lists and everything, you know, things are going to get really boring soon anyway. It's going to be all interviews and going to different places and um, not much, you know, medicine is going to be like, oh yeah, I went to this place and it was cool. I went to this place and it was cool. And um, I would never really be able to be honest because I want to be ranked high everywhere. I want, I want places, I want options, basically. So um, that's just a warning. Um, you know, the, the match happens in mid-March. Everything will be settled then. So um, I'll, I'll probably come back then. Um, but, you know, it's, it's going to be a couple months. Um, plus, I've been getting a lot of negative comments recently. And, um, I don't particularly need that kind of crap. So, um, yeah, if, uh, if you have any questions or what have you, you know, speak now or forever hold your peace. Um, cause yeah, I'm going to peace out for a couple months. So, um, I hope everybody's doing well and, um, you know, I hope things have been helpful this far and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in March. Have a good one.